I'm Michael Riddell. I'm a professor in the Muscle Health Research Center at York University and senior scientist at LMC Diabetes. So I have type 1 diabetes, so I've had it since the age of 13. Uh, physical activity and exercise are critically important for anyone living with diabetes. Both cardio exercise and weight training exercise are beneficial for blood sugar control. The health benefits of uh, aerobic exercise in, include a lowered blood pressure, improved insulin sensitivity, um, it also lowers your blood lipid levels and lowers your risk of heart disease. Whereas resistance exercise, you're increasing muscle mass, which is a, a great disposal for your blood sugar after meals. So both forms of exercise when done together tend to cause the best uh, improvement in blood sugar management. So now that I'm a father of someone who has type 1 diabetes, my son was diagnosed about a month ago. So I have a different perspective on the importance of um, management and self-care. Um, my son's activity routines had to kind of be carefully monitored. You can't just freely go out and play, or you can't just uh, start a sporting event if you have type 1 diabetes. You have to plan ahead a little bit. Aerobic exercise or cardio exercise often makes blood sugar drop quite a bit. So we recommend testing at least twice before exercise, maybe 30 minutes before and just before you start, and then every 30 minutes during the activity so that you can learn the pattern of response. We can't fully predict uh, the blood sugar's response to exercise, particularly if you're taking insulin. So to get started, it may be wise to pick up something that can monitor your activity, whether it measures your step count or it measures your heart rate. And if you achieve uh, maybe 6,000 steps per day in the first week, then you know you've, you've almost met your goals. Um, in the next two weeks, you could probably bump up your step count to 10,000 steps per day, and soon it'll just be little segments of walking in between meetings or in between meals or on the way to work. You could take a... You could take the bike. Before you know it, you'll achieve those 20, 30 minutes per day or 10,000 steps. That should be a motivator for most people to get up and start some form of physical activity right away.